As the Everton takeover progresses, Kevin Thelwell is getting on with some restructuring behind the scenes uh, with the freaking group backing, according to reports. Uh, Everton have recently appointed Nathan Fisher as head of emerging talent, and another recent appointment is Ollie Nielsen, or Oli Nielsen, uh, as the international scout. He'll be focusing on Scandinavia and definitely uh, Everton need to be getting into these areas. We've got a South American scout. Scandinavia is a good market, obviously, and Everton just haven't really used it. And so therefore, Ollie Nielsen has given an interview um, talking about where he will be focusing on. I think it's this is good if, if Thelwell can start getting people in place in these areas because, again, Everton need to be changing course of what they've done in the past five or six years, or more or less since Farad Mashiri come in. Got to change the way we do stuff, looking at emerging talent, trying to get people earlier than, you know, before their price tag triples, basically. Uh, so they are going, getting on with that restructure and another couple of appointments apparently in the pipeline as well. So the minute we get news of them, we will pass them on. Referee John Brooks will be in charge of Everton versus Fulham this Saturday at Goodison Park. Brooks took charge of the Liverpool-Chelsea game on Sunday and was involved in some controversial decisions. He refereed Everton three times last season and the Toffees lost all three games. <laughs> he awarded some big decisions against us, so hopefully he's due to award some to us. Carl Walker has re uh, revealed how close he was to signing for Everton before he joined Tottenham. The Manchester City defender said he was really close to joining <coughs> the Blues under David Moyes. Uh, he said Kyle Norton was invited to David Moyes' house, but he wasn't. <laughs> he said, so we went down and spoke to Tottenham, who gave him the impression that they really wanted him, and therefore that made his decision to join Spurs. But... You know, Tottenham did take Norton and Walker from under David Moyes' nose. And uh, I remember it at the time. It was frustrating because it looked as though Evan had the pair of them from Sheffield United. And maybe if he'd invited Carl Walker to his house, Carl Walker would have signed for us. Who knows? Former Everton striker Duncan Ferguson has left his role as manager of Inverness Caledonian Thistle after the club went into administration. Uh, Ferguson, who had stopped taking wages for the last two months and paid his staff from his own money, uh, had only lost 11 of the 40 games that he's been in charge for and he even won his last game as manager at the weekend, beating Annan Athletic 1-0. Uh, despite losing large parts of his squad in the summer, having no money on the younger squad in Scotland, they've still only lost two games this season. Uh, before they have gone into administration, which means they are now being docked 15 points. So really sad times at Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Obviously disappointment for Duncan uh, that it's ended like that. Hopefully he'll be given a new job uh, with a more stable club. And finally, some good news today coming out of Everton's academy is that highly rated goalkeeper Douglas Lukanic has signed his first professional contract with the football club, penning a three-year deal until the end of 2027. The highly rated England under-18 international turned 17 earlier this month has been rewarded for impressive progress through the club's age groups having become a first-year scholar at the start of this season. Manchester City have been uh, sniffing around them, are very interested in him in the summer, along with two or three other clubs. So good to see him uh, signing his first professional contract at the football club. Like I say, he is very, very highly rated at Everton. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.